Yo guys, Ponty here, and today we're going to learn how to make a sound pool on our Analog 4 Mark II. Let's go. Alright guys, so first things first, let's make a new project here. Project. Load project. Create new. Save. Yes. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So when you first start a project, I'm sure you may have noticed that you don't have a lot of, you don't have any of the sounds that you had when you were messing around with the uh, demo projects. So you have to make, you have to populate your own sound pool. Now, of course, there are sounds that come on the Analog 4 but you just need to choose which ones you want and basically put them into memory so into the ram so here we go so let's go to the sound so the sound browser and the sound manager they're very similar except the sound manager you can do more in it so let's do the sound manager so if you so this is what you're going to do Basically go through every single sound, try them out, you know? Let's do what I would do normally, so. Blood net. I really like that one, and I, would, I could be here all day playing with that one. Okay, black blue. I really like that one too. That's a good pad sound. I don't have it set to polyphonic right now. If you want to learn how to make your Analog 4 polyphonic, watch my other video about polyphony. Okay. So essentially what you're doing is checking all the ones that you want to add to your sound pool. That's a pretty cool one. Also really cool. And uh, Electron has so graciously uh, tagged them all for us, so you can easily, you can hit left and do the filter if you want. Say you want uh, just bass sounds. Hit that, boom. You have all these bass sounds. Now if you go back, if you clear the filters, and you go back, that does indeed get rid of the check marks that you already had. So what you want to do is do the filtering first, and then uh, check some sounds. So what I'm doing basically is I'm just going through the whole master list of sounds. So you know this and you can you can also use the track knob here I mean look how many sounds you have you know and these are the different banks the first one says bank bank A bank B and then the number is of course just the the number of the sound within the bank so if you ever wanted to uh, you know if you're an old school guy or if you just want to keep a note on your phone, you know, or, or write it down on a piece of paper, um, you can just write some of these numbers down, you know, like B188, so that way you'll know which uh, slot your sounds are in to make it easy for when you start new projects. So, but uh, let's just go back to the beginning. I just want to load a few few sounds in here. That would take a really long time, so I challenge anybody <laughs> to do as many as you can. But uh, yeah, let's just go through here. I really like that one. Honestly, all of these in the first bank are amazing. You know, the amazing things about these sounds is they all evoke, you know, all kinds of 
not only emotions, but uh, inspiration, you know, for new songs, new patterns. Oh, what is this? Another pad one, I really like that, but I'm not gonna, not gonna use that one because I already have a pad sound. Like that one. Oh, this one's really nice, the reduction wave. You can, of course, change octaves if you want to test drive the sound in a different octave. Okay, we'll do that one and one more to make it even. Um, let's see here. Oh, you gotta have that sound. That's such a classic bass sound. So then what you do after that, there's these arrows on each side. That's how I got to the, fil uh, to the filter earlier. And then if you wanna go right, you have all these other options. You can copy them. That's what we're gonna use. You can edit the tags. Um, you know, unless you're making your own sounds, I wouldn't, I would advise against editing the, the tags for the ones already in there. Um, you can delete them if you want. Um, you can lock them so that way you can't accidentally delete them. Of course, select and deselect all, and then you can send sysx as well. So what we're gonna do is copy to, copy to sound pool. You can also move them to other banks if you wanted to. But uh, for now, we're just working on the sound pool. So hit yes, 10 sounds copied. So then now what you can do, hit no and get out of there. What you can do is come over here to your tracks. Um, there's other ways to get to this same spot, but the easiest way, I, in my opinion, is just double tap the track. And then you have Let's see, view pool, there you go. You have your 10 sounds here. You can also view the plus drive, which is essentially what we were just looking at. You know, so you have all kinds of sounds in there. The great thing about the sound pool is that, you know, in the plus drive, you have tons of sounds and it's, it's way too hard you know, you could probably take advantage of the filtering, but I mean, you don't know which ones you you prefer to use and you like to use normally. Um, so, you know, it gets, there's just so many sounds. So the sound pool is a way of kind of reeling it in and just making a list of sounds that you know you like. So, you know, especially if you're playing live, you know, most of all, you don't have time to be going through each uh, each bank in the plus drive to be able to find the ones you want, you know? Sometimes you just wanna be able to find them super quick. You know, and for each, uh, each pattern here, you know, I could easily go through and load sounds for each uh, track in just in a few seconds, you know? Say blood net, that's a bass sound, you know? Track two, I want this pad. You know, track three, I want uh, this reduction wave. Track four, I want, uh, you know, this kind of lead sound you could use. So now if you go through each track, you got your bass, you got your pad, and I do have polyphony on now. But uh, again, you know, there are some caveats that come with that, so be sure to watch my video about polyphony. You got the reduction wave on track three. You got your little lead sound on track four. So I hope that helps you guys. I know that was, that was a, kind of a confusing thing to me at first. You know, the plus drive essentially is the, essentially the bigger collection of sound and then the sound pool is your hand-picked pool of sounds that you know you like you know you enjoy you can get to them quickly so that's that's that i hope it helped you guys and i will see you in the next video